Hello and welcome to this new video about Mechabricks. Um, today will be a very short video to show you my development version with the exciting new features that I'm working on. Uh, so this is uh, animation. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of gears. This one and then this one. So I've got the two on my scene. And then on the top, I've got this pretty cool new icon, which is to open the animation panels. So I've got two areas. So one here where there isn't really anything right now. It's going to be some sort of a node editor, uh, like you may be used to in Blender. And at the bottom here, this is the timeline. So the timeline is already working. So I can choose to uh, drop frame or keep all the frames, but go very slowly in case the computer can the hardware can't follow the uh, frame rate. I can go at the start of the animation, at the end I can play, I can loop the animation, I can choose the frame, um, I can choose from which frame to which frame I want to go, and then the frame rate. Um, I've got a couple of uh, node tree that I already set up. So with these two icons here, the second one is uh, already uh, designed for these two gears. So I'm going to set it up by clicking on it. Uh, this is really just for my testing. And then now we can launch the animation. And here we go. Uh, it's what we can do. And then for now it goes from frames from frame number one to frame number 250. Um, I know that I can go up to frame number 15 and normally it should loop nicely with the parameters I put in the tree, in the art coded tree. Um, so yeah, and then I can still keep working on it. I can still change the colors while the animation is running. I can even go and find some bricks that I can put in my scene. So it's pretty interactive and actually pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, and the nice thing is that it also works with the online render mode. So I'm gonna stop the animation here. And go in the render mode here. Oh, I don't have any cameras here. Let's go back and put it in a nice way. Uh, design, my camera is here. I'm gonna select it. Uh, locate it nicely. I'm going to remove the two bricks also. Uh, they're great. You can change uh, the field of view a bit nicer. Let's put it there. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm good. Remove this, remove this. We can subdivide this part so they look a little bit nicer. Let's go back in the rendering mode. Look at the camera. I've got like a, a new field here. I can choose the frame I want to go to. So I can go from 1 to 15, this is my range, and then I can choose from which frame to which frame I want to render. So let's go from 1 to 15. Um, then I can choose the parameters, it's exactly the same as what it used to be. Nothing has changed. Let's change this. This, yeah, MIP doesn't look too bad. Uh, and then from here we can change this to go a little bit faster, because animation will take a lot of time. Even if I've got only 15 frames to render, um, let's put only like 50. I put the Intel denoiser, should be better. And then from there, I'm going to render from frame 1 to 15. Click on render. And then I need to use credit. This is the thing, guys. Use credits and then render. So in the past, when I redesigned the uh, render mode, I actually uh, redesigned it with animation in mind, so I didn't really have to do too much to make it work. So as you can see, I've got my 15 frames here that are waiting in the queue, and then the first one is rendering. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time, so we're not going to wait until the animation is finished. But uh, I will put in the description of this video a link to the animation that I will generate um, right now. Okay, uh, really exciting. And yeah, really excited about this new feature. And then it's not really like something that will come up on Makeabrick very, very soon, but eventually it's gonna come and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, have a good, have a good day, guys. Bye bye.